Okay, this is uh, www.carburetorsandmore.com, <clears throat> 832-221-4007. Okay, Larry, we have got a, let's see what we got, let me show you something. We had to do a lot of work on this before we could even start it up. This mechanism here, this was put on upside down, <clears throat> and um, this, this is the choke lockout. And I mean secondary barrel lockout and the um, and uh, ignore that phone call if you could hear it ringing and um, the high speed cam okay over here on the other side boy this brings back memories I used to race these things ran number two well no a number two in the nation in uh, in the 60s with a 348 then we went to the 409 with Don Nicholson broke into the 12s first car in the 12s for stock car but I'll tell you what, okay, the choke was adjusted here, causing a super high idle. Okay, let me tell you something about these carburetors. Let me get the ca camera back here on the stand. If I would know what I know now about these carburetors, of course, I was a 20-year-old kid then. I could have went a lot faster. We had nothing but flooding problems with these things. And now we know how to cure them. We also, they had a stumble in them. You know, if you didn't come on, of course, those were the days that ours was a stick. But it would still, you know, trying to drive it normally, it'd stumble. And uh, knowing what I know now, I could have went a lot faster. And, uh, but, you know, we ran number number two, and I believe that was in Detroit, in Nationals in Detroit that year. It would have been about 61 or 62. And then when we come up with a 409, of course, we ran number one with that. 409, 425 horsepower. Okay, oh, I'm stopped talking. Turn this thing back on. I'm sorry. Yeah, we got it running now before it wouldn't even run. By fixing all that stuff up, back barrels were out of alignment, which for you, you probably don't know what all that is, but anyway, got it so to run at least. Sure wouldn't do that before. But we're going to go ahead and get rid of a full deal. Dino's on, power's on, got a 6,000 six pound load, that'll be more than that 409 will ever carry. Let's see what it do. Pretty decent. I believe that one there, I didn't, I didn't check it yet, but I'll check it later on for the flow. I believe it's somewhere around 600. Ain't no comparison to carburetors of today. We got carburetors like that right there to do to do 11 and 1200 CFM. But it's an, it, 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 it is what it is. When we get done, it'll be just like it's from out of the factory. In the, but except the inside. This all has to be drilled out here. See how the fuel goes in here and across? We have to remove all these plugs and then hone it out. So it's a little bit of a job, but we, we can handle it.